A news alert, a popular Windsor swim beach shut down after people who swam there got sick. Tests uncovering high levels of E. coli in the water. And 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live there tonight. And Jacqueline, new test results on that water came back just today. Yes, and those new results show E. coli levels are back to normal, but the caution tape is still up here. The city's keeping the beach closed until the investigation into what made seven people sick is finished. The swim beach is very popular. A beach normally abuzz with summer swimmers is silent on this hot day. It is disappointing that it's closed. Darius Shoshun and his two children just swam there last weekend. It is scary, especially, you know, if, you know, if my children are there, all of a sudden then you got parents that are worrying, it's like, what happened to the kids and what's wrong with the water. Health officials started investigating Friday after seven people in Weld County came down with Shigella, a bacterial disease causing severe diarrhea and cramps. We're really trying to figure out what the commonality is among those people that have been confirmed and several of them had swam in Windsor Lake. When the health department tested these waters, they found high levels of non-disease causing E. coli in the area of the swim beach. That indicates fecal matter. At this time, we really don't know what the source is, but we will can continue to investigate that. Tests just taken Monday show the E. coli levels are back down, but the city of Windsor isn't taking any chances until they know what caused the sickness. The beach will stay silent. It's just a shame that uh, they got to shut it down. And I know a lot of people yeah. would love coming here to uh, cool down. But swim at your own risk takes on a whole new meaning. Well, county officials tell me the disease usually spreads from person to person. So they say it's a good reminder to always wash your hands and don't allow toddlers with dirty diapers into swimming water. Also, they say don't drink the water. Reporting live at Windsor Lake, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.